We're ready now to put pistons on the connecting rods. Uh, start out, we'll insert one of the lock rings. Now, top of each piston is marked, it says front. And on the connecting rods, there is a notch for the bearing mark, for the bearing lock. Uh, in these particular engines, it doesn't matter which side the numbers are marked on, the bearing lock goes towards the cam. So, with the engine as it is, it's upside down right now, the cam is to the left. Just in pointing towards the front, this is the way they go on. So we'll get the uh, wrist pin uh, cleaned up pretty good. And it just starts in the piston. Usually you can press them by hand. Probably would hurt that little bit of oil. So, once again, we make sure we got front towards front, lock to the left, and we'll put some oil in that. Let's make sure it's clean. Okay. Lock to the left, front to the front. And the pin just pushes it. No need to be alarmed, it was just bubble wrap popping. <laughs> there we go. And the other lock goes in place. Make sure it's down on the groove. Well set. It's time to install piston rings now, so we use a vise to uh, hold the piston. You don't have to clamp it in tight or anything, just something to hold it steady. And package piston rings is uh, usually uh, marked each segment as where it goes. So we want to start with the bottom ring first. Carefully expand it over the piston and right on down to its groove. And uh, the oil rings in this particular case don't seem to matter which way they go, but that is one thing you always want to check is uh, which side is top on the ring. Okay, in this ring it's really faint, it's uh, lightly marked, but it says top, and so that goes towards the top of the piston, obviously.
and this particular top ring uh, there's no top tit it's identical top go all the way around Now there is a uh, specially made pair of pliers specifically for this. It just fits on and lightly expands the rings, but uh, my skin's pretty tough. I can manage to do it with my thumbs. There we go. That's all four pistons.